So the Oscars came to the fans, who and Marvel team up, and more Dune casting right now on Miscast Entertainment. Dune casting! All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Miscast Entertainment News. With me, as always, is William Davis Moore. The Butcher of Boca. <laughs> Watch out, I'm scared now. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm afraid. Eh? <laughs> today, today, we have a very special guest. We have DJ Valentine. I'm happy you guys brought me back and or rescinded that uh, restraining order. Thank you. So first up, guys, we have the Oscars. They were not going to air four different categories. They're going to air the... Uh, cinematography, editing, makeup and hairstyling awards, and live action short awards, all during commercial breaks. And then they we're gonna air the edited presentations later in the episode. But now everybody was all up in arms about it. You heard from Guillermo del Toro spoke out against it. Quentin Tarantino was all up in arms about it. Everybody, right. everybody, it was yeah. everybody near universally. Even people panned. on ABC, <laughs> right? Yeah, it was, yeah. A, even the people that work for ABC who are hosting. The oh yeah, <laughs> they were like, no, yeah, we're gonna boycott this. So, so they caved to the pressure and said, okay, you know what? Scrap that. We're gonna air all twenty four, mm-hmm. and uh, and that's where we're at now. I, I'm reminded of a scene in Ghostbusters 2 where Giannis, Dana's uh, boss at the art gallery, turns to like a, <laughs> like a He's painter. Vigo. Yeah, yeah, he goes, she, he turns to a painter and goes, everything you're doing is bad. I mean, everything they've done from the beginning yeah. of the Oscars, is, first it was the what? The, hey guys, we got this popular film category to placate the Black Panther fans. Right. Now, stick your patronizing award up right. your patronizing ass. Then it was, hey, we need a host. Uh, I like Kevin Hart. You like Kevin Hart. We Love like him. Kevin Hart. Oh wait, Kevin Hart. Uh, oh, Twitter doesn't like Kevin Hart. I uh, guess we gotta, we gotta get rid of Kevin. He Hart. He said Kevin, some stupid shit a long time uh, ago. Kevin ah. Hart wants to apologize. No, he doesn't want to apologize. I guess we would just go with uh, somebody else. Anybody want to host? You Bueller, Bueller? No, no, can no host. No, host. fuck it. And then we got. <laughs> That's it. Done. And then we got. Hey, you know what? I good. I got a good idea. Let me wipe my ass with the career of everybody in the movies that makes the movies. Literally, Literally makes the movies. What makes filmmaking filmmaking? Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> and then, then, then everybody's up in arms, I guess, because you know we've essentially shit on the careers of the people whose job it is to make celebrities and directors look good. Right. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, right. sorry. We're, we're, we're going to do that. I, I don't what? know who runs the Academy, but I'm a thousand percent certain it's Roger Klotz from Doug. <laughs> oh, brother, what a goofus. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's that guy. Wow, that's a deep cut, right? It's, it's all right. Doug, Doug, funny, you know, whatever. But yeah, it's just, every decision they make is bad. I don't get it. I oh, it's a, it's it's shaped out to be a disaster it's this a award season. Fuck. Cluster yeah, fuck. absolute, absolute. So they caved. They caved in. Uh, yeah. The statement they released says. The Academy has heard the feedback from its membership regarding the Oscar presentation of four awards: cinematography, film editing, live action short, and makeup and hairstyling. <laughs> All Academy Awards will be presented without edits in our traditional format. We look forward to Oscar Sunday, February twenty fourth. Sorry, we're dumbasses. Basically, yeah, <laughs> it was it was it, it was just basically like, all right, you guys win. No comment, please. Yeah. please, please. So yeah, so uh, so what do you think about this, Will? I think that if you don't have uh, cinematography, then you're looking at a black screen. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. What, that's what I think. And it, right. if, if you don't have stupid. editing, then you're watching a bunch of shit that's shot out of order. You're right. watching Suicide like, Squad like, over and over and over again. Yeah. So like you're gonna play like all the. You're songs. watching raw footage, and that's it. So I don't know. Right. Like you're right. watching what, Suicide what, Squad like, over and over and over again. Yeah. So like you're gonna play like all the. Songs. You're watching raw footage, and that's it. Right. No. Right. You're gonna play all the songs in a movie, like uh, you know, in live performances, and then not honor the people to actually make the movie because oh. you had to play these live songs. Get rid of the live performance. Performances, show the freaking perform or the performers, and then the, uh, the the actual people that make the movie get their awards. It's their freaking time. It's not the people on the couch's time. Nobody gives a shit anyway on the couch. Right. The only people that give a shit are the people that actually want to do filmmaking in their career, right. you know, or their life. Uh, so fuck what I, they obviously rescinded it because the backlash. Yeah, was, it was. It was like lightsabers up the ass for them, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well. I, 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 I'm 
might be wrong about this, but aren't they only doing like two musical performances now? Because Three. everybody else is like, I'm not. I'm I not think doing it somebody anymore. saw that tweet. Somebody tweeted out the Lady Gaga Bradley Cooper performance on Twitter when they did, she did like some live performance, and Bradley Cooper came out. And they were like, Why aren't we getting this at the Oscars? And they were like, Uh, uh sure, sure. They're so reactionary. Yeah. Because yeah. they're making a TV show, but they need to be making an award show. I think I think they're butting heads with uh, the two people are butting heads. The people who are actually in the Hollywood business who wants to. You know, show off these awards and, and and honor the right people. Yeah, and the people who just want to make good television. And honestly, I think it should lean more toward making uh, an award show because honestly, people who are watching this lo- love cinematography. If you're a, a yeah. film, if you're watching the Oscars and you're just going to see the best, you can just watch it on Twitter. You can look, look up who won on Twitter. You They're, don't care about well, cinematography, editing, or whatever. If you're just a, a non filmmaking fan, so if right. you're gonna make the show, make the show for fuck. Fucking everybody! I don't. I don't understand that part. The thing is, is you're gonna the people that are watching it for the what the ratings they call like those TMZ people. Right, they only right. care about the red carpet, which is before the thing even starts. Yeah. The people that actually die hard into actually watching the show. Care about all that. Those stuff. are filmmakers, yeah. man. They're yeah. filmmakers and they're people that like filmmakers. So you gotta you gotta cater to them. Well, that's man. exactly, and I, that's a, that was the point I was just about to make. They're catering to like the the people who don't really know much about filmmaking or right. only care about. The Fast and Furious right. movies, right, and shit right. Like that. There's you know, MTV America, for that. What's shit? Brad Pitt yeah. wearing? Where's George Clooney? Yeah. They can see the lowest all that. Lowest common denominator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, get the people who actually watch uh, Beale Street could talk, or right. that's who you should be catering the award show for because they care about editing. Right. Any, yeah. they care about cinematography, costume design, all that sound design, all that stuff. Yeah. Spe- so that stunt performance. I mean, all that stuff because yeah, we they, talked about. Yeah, that. We're, yeah, we're film fans. We like the beginning and end of every film. How they make it, how they write it, how they structure mm-hmm. it, how they shoot it, all that stuff. Sure. If you're a teeny bopper hipster that wants to see what the hell George Clooney's wearing and who he has on his arm, then just watch on, just scroll up on Twitter. Yeah, and go see watch it. E. Watch E. Uh, you know? Dude, yeah. there's a whole hour and a half pre-show. You're fine. It's, it's almost as long as the Oscars these days. Exactly. That's what you guys want to watch. So watch that shit and shut yeah. the fuck up. So. <laughs> and on that happy note, we'll move on. Okay. So now, next up, we have Hulu and Marvel are going to team up and going to f- to produce four adult animated series Sweet. for Hulu. You got Howard the Duck. You got Modoc. Right. You got uh, Hit Monkey. What okay. the hell is that? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> It'll be, that's going to be fun. And then you have uh, Tigra and Dazzler. Mm-hmm. Tigra, Tigra? Tigra. Tigra. Then they're going to have all these characters team up, a la the Defenders on Netflix. Oh, no. Into an uh, animated special called The Offenders. <laughs> yes. That sounds funny. Right. <laughs> so yes. we got uh, a head, spearheading the whole thing. You got Jeff Loeb, the head of uh, Marvel Television. Right. Howard the Duck is going to be written and produced by Kevin Smith. Yes, that Kevin Smith. Mm. Uh, and Dave Willis, who uh, was r- responsible for Aqua Teen Hunger Force awesome. and the voice of Meatwad. Right. Okay. So maybe he'll be really, voicing wow. Howard the Doc. We don't know. Yeah. You know, so he does a lot of voice work too. Mm-hmm. Um, Modoc is going to be uh, written. What is it? I forget what, it, what Modoc stands for. Oh, uh, Mo- man, only designed for killing or something. It's something so, weird yeah, like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Modoc. Right. He's got a giant head and little, giant head, little body. Yeah. Looks like the things you used to draw when you were a little kid and didn't right, know how to draw. Right, you know, right, just right. that big. Modoc is going to be written and produced by Jordan Bloom, who did Community and right. American Dad. That could work. And Patton Oswalt, who is also going to be voicing Modoc. Hit Monkey is going to be written and produced by Josh Gordon and Will Speck, who uh, brought us Blades of Glory and Office Christmas Party. Awesome. So (laughs) Office Christmas Party is an underrated movie. That's Mm. a fun movie. And then Tiger and Dazzler is going to be written and produced by Erica Rivenoja, Mm -hmm. who uh, worked on Girls Trip, Last Man on Earth, South Park, Grounded for Life, and Chelsea Handler. Oh, wow. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But this should be interesting. I want to read the quote. Uh, uh, Kevin Smith released a uh, statement about this. Okay. And it's kind of, uh, you know, Kevin Smith is not one for brevity. No. Um, he likes his puns. Yeah. So here we go. And his weed. All right. Yes, yes, he does. Yep. All right. <laughs> so he says, the times we're living in deserves an orator who can identify all the quacks oh, boy. in the system. Oh, oh my God. A straight shooter go. who won't leave us holding the bill. Oh, you're, you're, you're unselling it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, really. Thank, thanks to Marvel and Hulu, mm. I get to do foul. Oh no. F O W L. I get to do foul things to one of my all-time favorite comic book characters in animation. Let's be honest. I'm not talented enough to handle any of the Avengers, 
but Howard is definitely in my wheelhouse. However, the real brains of our operation is a legit cartoon genius, the great meatwad himself, Aqua Teen Hunger Forces Dave Willis. So prepare to get ducked hard. Oh my God. <laughs> Perfect response. Love it. Perfect Love response. it. <laughs> All right. Then Willis goes on to say, uh, I'm looking forward to working with Kevin on bringing Howard to the flat screen. And I know if I screw this up, I'll never be able to show my face at Comic Con ever again. Nerds will haunt me the rest of my days. It's true. It's Which true. is true. It's yep, very that true. Is true. So uh, yeah, so I'm 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 I have high hopes for these series, especially the Modoc and yeah. the uh, I, I'm looking forward to Howard the Duck. Uh, I mean, I think if they do exactly what I think Thor did, which was lean into the weird, yeah, it will work. And when you told me it was the Aqua Teen Hunger Force guy, I oh. have no doubt they will be leaning into the weird. Sure, <laughs> yeah, definitely hard, yeah. definitely. So yeah. All if right. Shake makes an appearance, oh God, please. I'm there. Why not? Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be you know, yeah. Matt, uh, uh, Fry, uh, Fry uh, Frylock and Fry Lock. Master Shake. Frylock sure. is a superhero. He's sure. like a god. So yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> out of his eyes, you know. Yeah. So, Modok, brief synopsis is going to be set around the character of the same name created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, uh, and its series will follow the supervillain with a really big head and real small body as he fights to keep control of his organi- organization Aim. and his needy family. Oh, this sounds like one of those funny sitcom-y, they're going to just right. cross-pollinate the thing. Yeah, I think it will work. So he's Modoc, well think Modoc as like, uh, you know, Homer Simpson kind of deal I or, can, I'll or watch American it. Dad kind of thing. I'm in already. But yeah, he told he, me Pat Oswalt, I'm in already. So. Yeah, if he has sure. a family, that means that, that Modoc has like a chin penis, like... <laughs> Is it like located on his throat? I'm here. It's, Happy is he, Valentine's I mean, Day. Is that bald chinian? <laughs> I guess, uh, that's the only reason why he's wearing the armor to cover up his little uh, yeah, naughty his, bits, you know? Nasty ass. <laughs> I'm a romantic. <laughs> <laughs> um, his testicles have toes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is going to be an adult theme, so I don't know if it's going to be that adult theme. So, you know. please, be adult. please be that adult, please. Yeah, please. All right. Please. And since you asked, Hit Monkey is going to follow a Japanese snow monkey who trains with the ghost of an American assassin. <laughs> the ghost? Yes, okay. this, is, this is the synopsis I'm of I'm still in. Awesome. Ghost of an American assassin to prepare for a bloody and darkly comical revenge trip through the seedy Tokyo underworld. John Wick with a monkey, I'm in. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, all right. you, uh, a monkey versus a Yakuza, apparently. Kill Bill with a monkey, I'm in. I'm cool because I know nothing about it, I so I'm pleasantly uh, open. All right, and then Tigret and Dazzler will see uh, the best friends, superheroes, as they face one of their biggest battles yet, recognition from other superpowered people in L.A. Here's the thing about Marvel <laughs> and, and DC to that matter. In the fringes, especially when they start opening these television networks like Hulu and whatever, Disney Plus and all that stuff, they have some of the craziest, weirdest, fringy characters you've ever... Howard the Duck is the, the and that's tip where of this the is iceberg going, right. of weird. Yep. <laughs> yeah. MODOK, you're not even prepared to what... MODOK is... I never even heard of Hitmonkey. I know uh, Dazzler, yeah. which is essentially... Uh, she was like a disco queen. That well, she was in the uh, last uh, um, X Men movie. Right, uh, right, right, right. She and a, she's she supposed to be in the ne- the next one too. Apparently, small right. role. I the, think. The, that, the, I think the, the deleted scene where they go to the mall and they pick up one of her records. Or right. Whatnot. She was like a singer, but she has mutant powers. Comics are weird. <laughs> Bob Chipman said it best. Comics are weird, and I think with these. Car- especially animated, you can yeah. do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, it, it, these seems like they're going to be really out there. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm excited for that one. So next up, we got. More Dune casting news. This cast just keeps getting bigger and better and bigger and better by the day, it seems. Oh, boy. Um, it's lovely. I think William has been signed to play one of the Baron's <laughs> postules. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm the biggest postulating one underneath his eyelid. So oh, there you go. So, th- so that should be fun. I get to uh, squirt in one scene. I, I, I may have a controversial <laughs> take on Dune casting. Uh, it has one of the, it seems like it's going to make the greatest cast since Ocean's Eleven. It has one of the greatest filmmakers of all time at Denis Villeneuve. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it'll he, probably bomb. He, he, made, <laughs> he made my favorite movie of 2017, Blade Runner 2049. And it's gonna probably bomb like Liam Neeson at a Howard Kaminsky. And it'll be all your fault because you didn't go see it. I said this on Twitter. Start explaining aloud the plot of Dune, and then stop in the middle and pretend you're explaining it to a 17 year old or a frat guy or your mom, because that's who you're gonna need to make it cross 500 million dollars. Yeah. So that's that's the only. I know it has a Dune fans. Don't come at me. Don't at me. I'm, I know it's a great IP. People, great fan base. But it's weird, man. I think to make it palpable for everyone, he's gonna have to change stuff, which is gonna piss off the Dune fans. Sure. And to well, make he's got to be condensed. He's got to right. condense a lot of shit. Dude, and so. if he makes it it's... like the Dune 
actually is, he's going to shy away the mass audiences. So he's rock walking a tightrope on how to make this movie success- successful. Right. So I don't know. I'm not even going to do the plot with spice and giant worms and all this Space shit. Worms but let me get to this. Let me get to the casting news because you got, you know, we already had Timothy Calamay, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Zendaya, Dave Bautista, Stellan Skarsgård, Charlotte Rampling, and Javier Bardem, Jeez. which is already like an A-list cast. <laughs> Slow down. But now we've added Josh Brolin. <laughs> Oscar Isaac. Oscar? Where's he, Oscar? He's, he was just there. there. He missed him. Oh. But he is everywhere. Oh, Look, he's over there. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's, yeah. Triple Frontier. He's going to be in that. He's got that one coming, which also looks awesome. Anyway, so you got Josh Brolin mm. has joined the cast as uh, the war master of House Trades, Gurney Halleck. Is he purple? No, he's not. I don't know. But, oh, look, Oscar Isaac's face just went over. <laughs> um, I'm so sure, yeah. that role was previously played by Sir Patrick Stewart. Oh, in 1984. Wow. Okay, wow. Yeah. big shoes to fill with blue right. eyes. So that spiced right. eyes. So he's all spiced up. <laughs> spiced um, spiced um, eyes. And then oh, just uh, a day or two ago, Jason Momoa signed on to play Duncan Idaho. Wait, how, wait, wait! How's how's Aquaman gonna play anything in a world of, of sand? <laughs> well, he's uh, walking he's, in the sand, dude. In Aquaman one, he's just walking in the sand. He got out. Well, of he just ocean. dry up or something like that. Hey, like they jumped out of a plane. Get all into dehydrated. A sand Old girl was like sucking air or water out of the freaking air. Could have just pissed on it. Yeah. <laughs> Aquaman. Folks. Your uh, your Jason Momoa impression is pretty, uh, pretty spot good. on. Yeah, yeah. Y'all. Uh, oh yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. my man. A few more whiskers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's so Jason Moe is going to play Duncan Idaho. Uh, he's the sword master of House Atreides, of course. Uh, and he was played by Richard Jordan in 1984. Richard right. Jordan. So yeah. So this cast is enormous. You know, uh, it rivals the cast of the uh, Everything. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood now, <laughs> and uh, you know all these other big star-studded spectacles. Uh, that come how out. are you going to afford this? How? I don't How know. Do you, I'm I, pumped. It's gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> William has an erection right now. I do. So I, William has thank the big whoop, bang in the table. Thank right God, now, my donkey dick is under the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tiny donkey. <laughs> Actually, you know. I would enjoy it if they did go more into how Spice works as an interdimensional travel uh, mm-hmm. agent. Right. Because that's the part I thought was most fascinating about the whole thing. And they kind of just did a voiceover to explain yeah, that in and, the original, right. you know. Which was one of the best parts of the whole freaking movie. Dude, All right, so we also got a release date for Dune. Mm. November 20th of 2020. So right Thanksgiving, right in time coming for Thanksgiving. Up. It's coming up. Coming up next year. Again. Uh, a year and a half from now. Man. So that's that one. Also mm. coming in 2020 mm. is the long-rumored sequel Coming to America. That didn't make any sense. Uh, either, so. I'm not so thrilled about that. One. <laughs> that one coming, makes my, my makes me sad coming in my to brain. America doesn't need a sequel. It nah. ended perfectly. It's it, like Toy Story three. You don't need a Toy Story four. It ended perfectly. What? Mm, what? Bo Peep needs an ending. Does she? Does she? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. So the original <laughs> came out in 1988. Right. So this one's going to premiere 32 years after the original. Uh, did you know that uh, Coming to America is a spinoff of Trading Places? That this little factoid that the guys from Trading right, Places right. are in Coming to America. That's right. And that's where it should end. You should not keep expanding this universe. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're doing it. Oh, God. They're doing it. So, so what has Eddie Murphy been doing this whole time? <laughs> He's been struggling. He's been trying to put a out lot, quality entertainment. A lot entertainment. of wipers. A what? lot of wipers. There's really? Of <laughs> I have not seen him in a movie in at least 10 years. The last time I Straight saw him was the, the SNL uh, anniversary. It was the last time I saw him, and he kind of like botched that appearance. Really? Yeah, he had a movie yeah. come out last year, but That's nobody terrible. saw it. You oh, know, what was the movie? I, 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 I don't even remember. Know. It was like <laughs> Mister Mister Something or other. Oh, I can't wow. remember what it was. Yeah, Dang. but uh, yeah. So this one's kind of August seventh, twenty twenty. Do you want to see unfunny uh, Eddie Murphy? I no. don't want to see. I don't no. want. Don't ruin no, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Don't ruin yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's no. grasping at straws now. He's oh. trying to re- trying to come back, and he's going back to the well. So I smell Crystal Skull like a oh, mother. Oh man. It's oh, reeks of right. crystal skull. Monkey in an ant pile. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now sad again. So, Sam Jackson uh, will make a return, except this time <laughs> he'll the fuck is, oh, this I time know he'll know asshole. kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't we don't know if Arsenio Hall is coming back. Oh, we yeah. don't know. What is he doing? Uh, is, Ar- Arsenio, are you are you busy, Arsenio? Come back. <laughs> we don't know if Mr. McDowell is coming back. Uh, James John Almost, John, John Amos. Amos. Yeah, I remember him in Die Hard too. Yeah. Uh, uh, who knows if um um some uh, of them have to be dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> James Earl Jones is James kicking Earl, around. Still. Yeah, I don't know if James yeah. Earl Jones is going to be up for it. Um, you know, who has he got? Eric LaSalle was in Logan. He's still kicking around. Samuel Jackson can go back and rob another McDowell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex he, Rodriguez, 
who was uh, Alex Riley, yeah, 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 player, Alex was Riley. <laughs> rumored to be in that but, scene. Uh, did allegedly, you, allegedly. Did you guys allegedly. know, though, that, that that wasn't Sam Jackson's just a robber, you know? That was Nick Fury <laughs> before he joined uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, okay. <laughs> so then he turned his life around he just, after that. Yeah, man. He has Prince Hakeem. Uh, it's he, all part of the Marvel Universe. They're yeah, all They're all connected. connected. It's the whole <laughs> <all connected. laughs> I wanted to tell you about the Avengers Initiative. Oh, really? <laughs> all right, motherfucker. All right. So so you got you got Craig Brewer from Hustle and Flow is set to direct it. Uh, mm. Eddie Murphy is obviously coming back. Sure. Um, Kenya Barris, the creator of Blackish, is going to be writing from well, that's, a, that's good news. Yeah, yeah that's Blackish a good is, a, show. is yeah. a good yeah. show. Um, he's going to be writing a, rewriting a script from the original writers uh, Barry Blaustein and David Sheffield. Okay. Again, so, you, you don't need it. You don't. I Rio, don't nobody's don't really asking for it at this point. I, I don't even don't, say don't need it. Just. Don't do, do it. it yeah. Just don't do it because you're going to ruin people's don't, don't. memories. Man. Nobody wants And nobody that hasn't seen the original or hasn't, you know, didn't grow up with it gives a shit. Yeah. So I want Eddie Murphy you know? to go on tour again just to get the chops up because, again, he's nobody's seen the guy. Right. He's, yeah, he's got to do recluse, Bill, I mean, David Chappelle went back on tour to get his he's, shit back up. Right, yeah. I want right, Eddie right. Murphy to do that before he starts making. Sequels to some of his. I don't want to see Golden Child two. I don't want to see Coming to America two. I don't. Well, maybe Golden Child two. Oh no! What have I done? I put it in the ether. No, it's out there. Charles dances around. So there you go. (laughs) But we could have the kids all grown up now. He's like a deity and shit, and he like wields the power of the air and fire, and he's now the Airbender. Oh, it's oh, (laughs) M Night Shyamalan's going. (laughs) 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 All right. So now Aquaman. We got a spinoff of Aquaman set up. It's going to be about the trench monsters, and it's going to be called the Trench, as it is right now. Okay, <laughs> the Trench, the Trench about the trench monsters. So WB has hired uh, Noah Gardner and Aiden Fitzgerald to write the script. They've really they worked for J.J. Abrams. They were assistants at Bad Robot when he made Super Eight. Okay. Um, awesome. And they wrote a submarine movie called The Volos. I never heard of it. Never heard of that. Um, James Wan and Peter Safran are going to produce I, this. I will say this. The, the, the part of Aquaman that I think uh, I felt that James Wan was in his wheelhouse was all the trench stuff. Because I was like, oh, wow, this feels like a James Wan cool. movie now. Because before it was just yeah. like, special effects, hey. And then I was like, oh, the, the horror element came in. Right. So if James Wan does something with this, it makes it like, but you don't even have, this make James Make an original movie. Why does it have to be about them? Right. Let's, let's do something and it's going to be a horror movie. A, right. It's a horror theme movie, apparently. Why does it have to be in the DC universe? Just make an original concept about DC. Hey, you got to have that. It's that IP. You got to have that name uh, attached to it. You I got to come on the other side of this. So I actually kind of want to see this. When they did go to the trench, I thought that was when the movie kind of turned around for me. As right. far as like story-wise, I got interested in hmm. um, what was going on. For a second, right. they rushed the shit out of it. Obviously, <laughs> hurry up, go, 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 yeah, go, go, go. Like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but like that whole like thing with the, I'm not gonna give any spoilers away. Mm. But you know what happened when he went and found right. what he was looking for. But right. the, the, there was a whole world down there. Right. The shot where the flares was go, were going down and uh, Aquaman and, jumps and, off the boat. Yeah, like that shot alone was the, the brought it's gorgeous. Me in. Yeah, it was beautiful. And then the world down there was like the Lost World or something. You know, <laughs> there was a whole freaking ecosystem and shit. It was crazy. Yeah, it was. And then they, they just brushed right past it and then we're out. Well, yeah. it was enough for them to say, "Hey, let's do a solo movie." Plus, there was like. Uh, physics down there of some kind it, it's like, there was some crazy shit going on down some there. avatar yeah. world yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 my only, only, my only thing is james wan is creative enough where you don't need to connect it you could do, you could just do your own hey james wan i want you to make a movie about underwater monsters and underwater world yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't have that DC IP attached to it. They're trying Enough. to separate anyway. They don't hey. want fucking Wonder Woman talking to Aquaman anymore. The money people care. That's the that's the thing. Know, that's the money. People. Ask the money people how they've been going for the last five years. Well, <laughs> yeah, well geez, you know, as much as I hated like Suicide Squad, it oh, made yeah, money. Sure. As much as I hated Justice League and all those it movies, didn't. Justice they League money. was not making money. But I'm 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 I'm, I'm de- deviating. I'm just saying that you yeah. don't need to. Right. I mean, it's cool if you you can, but I don't want to have that whole argument. Where's Aquaman? Where's Aquaman? The whole fucking movie. I don't I don't need Aquaman in this movie. Yeah, it's, it's cool. No, I'm, I'm gonna be all right because there's gonna be Aqualad. When he was down there, he shagged one of them fishes. Whoa! And we're gonna get Aqualad. Boom, shika, wow, wow, <laughs> hard R rating. <laughs> all right, and then finally, also in the DC universe, Ben Affleck has officially called it quits as a Cape Crusader. Mm-hmm. He has hung up his uh, his cowl. And Cape, he nice. was on the Jimmy Kimmel live show. I saw they that. hung it up in the rafters. Complete, they did. 
They hung up the rafters. <laughs> Holy shit, I didn't know that. They took down <laughs> Really? They, they took down Matt Damon's thong from um from <laughs> Liberace, the Liberace movie. Perfect. Gave uh, it to Ben Affleck. Candelabra, yeah. Ben Affleck's cape and cowl had Tom Brady's number twelve on it. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Jesus. That's funny. <laughs> F Tom Brady. Yeah. Um <laughs> He's no bad so, man. <laughs> so that's yeah. it. So he's yeah. officially done for everybody that's like out of their minds thinking that he's going to come back somehow. He's done. Uh, his quote is, I tried to direct a version of it and it worked with a really good screenwriter. Mm. This is talking about the uh, Chris Terrio. the Batman yeah. movie that, he's, right. that Matt Reeves is now taking over. I tried to direct a version of it and worked with a really good screenwriter, but just didn't come, couldn't come up with a version. I couldn't crack it. So I thought it was time to let someone else take a shot at it. They got some really good people, so I'm excited. I, do you that believe that he let it go? I don't. I think no. it was a mutual thing because he, yeah. he was going through some stuff, and DC was going through some stuff. Right. So I think it was like he, they probably had a meeting of, "Hey, maybe this isn't working out. Maybe we should uh, cut <laughs> losses." A yeah. Little bit. I mean, especially with Matt Reeves, who was hired, then rejected it, then was hired again because he yeah. was in full control. You might not have, you know, the uh, Ben Affleck with less options. It doesn't seem like it's conducive for him to stay anyway. Right. So, yeah. Well, I knew as soon as they brought Matt Reeves on, I knew that Ben Affleck was done. Yeah. Oh, you know? sure. Yeah. So that was it. My opinion is uh, <clears throat> this did not do anything good for Ben Affleck's career no. entirely. I mean, he was coming off as like this Oscar winning director, this mm-hmm. really awesome upcoming mm-hmm. super powerhouse of, of Hollywood and then he takes this comic book character role which was freaking amazing by right. the way it's pretty good Batman he yeah just it was ha- bad it was he bad. was a great Batman in my opinion he just came in at a time when DC didn't know what the hell they were doing 100% correct. they destroyed all the scripts they, there was chaos in the works he, yep. he couldn't we want Marvel we want to do what Marvel's he, doing he couldn't get a grasp on his character because everything around him was in a freaking whirlwind of madness right and uh Look, he had issues with alcoholism and stuff, so mm. I'm sure that his home life was bad. Then that meme went around with, with sad, sad Affleck. <laughs> oh, sad <man>. uh, <laughs> that couldn't have been good for poor yeah. Ben. Yeah. Uh, and look, after he went to rehab, I'm sure he just kind of made some decisions like, dude, I got to get rid of some baggage. And, mm-hmm. and yeah. that was just, dude, a lot of baggage. Right, so, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of Oscar Isaac. There he is again. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Man, he's dude. <laughs> he's t- ben every- Affleck, Oscar Isaac, and Triple Frontier. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oscar Isaac, rumored to be uh, ding, ding, ding. A, a candidate for the Batman. Right. Role, which is. I would not be against. I would no. not be against, but it seems like they want to go younger even than that. Because Army Hammer is kind of who. I, Army who, Hammer. I, I wouldn't um, mind that. He literally is Bruce Wayne. So Yeah, so there, there's a bunch of them. So there, there was one. a whole <laughs> list that was like a really garbage list that came out and had, I don't know, I guess they had Timothy who, Calame. Who, who would you? Who were you rooting for? I was rooting hard for Jake Gyllenhaal before he took Mysterio. I'm kind of um um. I'm gonna shock you all. What's oh the, shit! What's Whoa! Name? Wait a minute! Hold on! Wait. <laughs> William no, 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 you guys go ahead. Let me go. go. Uh, uh, Robert, Robert Pattinson. No. Uh, if Robert Pattinson. I mean, hey. No. If, if, if you seen Good Time, I no. I'm not saying Robert Pattinson's not a good actor. Yeah. He's a. You great, don't think I, he's a good I saw, fit? I, I watched Rover. He's great. I surprised. Great the Rover. Shit. Great and Good Time. Good Time. Great. I just don't think he's Batman. Okay, I he buy could, that. He could be something. If he bulks else. up, I think. He's got right. a pack on the pound. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. Big time. He's a great actor. I, 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 I take it the Twilight shit did him no favors because he no. really does have talent. No, he was just trying it to get just, his name out there. He doesn't fit the the Batman role for me, the Bruce Wayne okay. role for me. I'm, okay. Nothing against Batman. Right. I, I want to see my Everybody's stuff. got their opinion. Right, right, right. Some uh, some opinions are worse than others. There was a lot of really crappy opinions on the uh, on the uh, <laughs> internet. So uh, opinions are like anuses. All right, so let's <laughs> let's hear this mind blowing. Suggestion. Hand grenade by William Hall. <clears throat> <clears throat> Kit Harrington. Oh wow! See, <laughs> I, see, that was one of the ones I heard before, and I'm not, uh, I'm not really. So you on board like your Batman one. being three feet tall? Yeah, so that's Kit one Harrington problem. Dude, I have in your pocket. What, what's dude. in your pocket right now? Is that Kit Harrington? I, I it's my donkey. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I think he's a little too. Around, like, I don't know. He's not. He's not gruff enough for me. Look, I like know? him. He's a cool. As dude. far as height yeah. goes, it doesn't matter. They they deal with that. They'll film. Yeah, they'll work with that. That's not a big deal. I mean, look at Tom Cruise. He's really American accent. I haven't heard his American accent yet. Yeah, I think his voice is a little. High. I don't but know. But they're going young, me. Batman, the the movie that's being made right sure, now. Right. He, they're going really super young. I want to see, you know, how he comes up. I wanted to see that Batman begins. I'm you not know, against like, it. I'm not, it's not, it's and, not. and hey, you know, he hasn't been able to like pack the stuff on, but we know that the guy can do fight oh, no. choreography no, like sure. his mother. So sure. and he can brood, man, right, right, right. really well. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Well, I listen, we'll see how it goes. I, I was against Ben Affleck when he was 
yeah. going to be Batman, and he ended up being a pretty good Batman. Right. You know, I was against of, Heath Ledger in the beginning. Everybody too, was right? against yeah. Heath Ledger, and he crushed it. Right. So yeah. I mean, yeah. So he yeah, has. I, he, he, I reserve the right to change my mind. Kid has sure. charisma. I did see him do the though he was doing Jon Snow again. He he was doing that Seth Meyers little sketch where it, you bring Jon Snow to a dinner party thing. And yeah, I, I thought it was really really funny. That was good. So he does. I, I, I like. He's got chops. You're right. A lot of people who are doing these characters to have kind of a sense of humor on themselves, not sure. take them too self too serious. So I'm not against Kid Harrington. Right. He's got to get a whole bunch uh, of apple boxes. So. Another. Yeah. <laughs> well, they also suggest. I also heard Richard Madden, who played his brother on Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, as a suggestion too. Great you know. on bodyguard, mm. but you know. I don't know. He, he, I think I'd like him more as Bond than Batman, but that's he, just me. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm not buying the. We Bond could get thing. the mountain as Bane. Oh Jesus! All right, that works. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, already so that, Bane. <laughs> so that one. So the Batman has a release date of June 25th, 2021. So that's like two and a half years away. We still oh, got yeah, a long yeah. time to go. They could, they, Batman could be born right now, and then. <laughs> and real quick, and, yeah. and real quick, speaking while we're still on DC, apparently Jared Leto, they're not going to oh, bring Jared Leto back wow, as the Joker, which Boy, I couldn't be happier was about. Terrible. It was the worst was, iteration it, of the. Joker it was uh, so bad. Now, on, do you blame him or do you blame Air? I blame Good. I blame them both. I blame Leto. This was Leto. Leto's all another one who's a very very good actor. He's like a method actor. Yeah. So uh, he, this is a character he created. I don't care yeah. how anybody says it. Mm. This, he made the he choices. He made this character. He put the teeth on it. He put the tats on it. He shaved the head. He made him all gangster. So, so like, you're all for Joaquin's Joker? No, that's ooh, I like shot. his I'm version way, way more, better. Yeah, I'm way more way excited better. about it that. It sucks because it's probably going to be terrific, and we're going to get one of them. Right. That's a sucky part about right. it. I was like, yeah, but this is kind of almost why I didn't want it to happen. I'd rather because I know he's going to be great. I would. I'm I'd not. I'd rather I'm fine with have that. one Joaquin yeah. than five bad Lettos. <laughs> yes, that's, that's, really good. That's, 100%. that's really good math there. Hundred percent. That's really good math. Hundred percent. We got that. we got one Ledger, and I'm thrilled oh, yeah. for yeah. the rest it's of my life. The, it's still the yeah. fucking pen, the pinnacle. Right. It is. It's, right. right. it's like you know, yeah. like Ledger, Nichols, Nicholson, or like right there. Lighting, Lighting, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and everybody was like, dude, Leto's was way yeah. down here. <laughs> yeah, Leto, man, like he just makes me feel dirty when I look at him. It's, I think it's I, so forced. It pisses me off know. because I think under a different director, like if Nolan got Leto, I think it could have worked. Because he like, probably would have said like, hey. Maybe. Those choices you're making, they fucking don't, suck. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's yeah, I, possible, but yeah. you'll yeah. never know. All right. So that's it. So that ends our DC discussion. DC. Okay. Woo All right, guys. As always, thanks for joining us. If you like our video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it, share it with all your friends. Hit up our merch store, too. We have the cast uh, link down below. You buy some cool shirts, some cool hats, all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, check out Simplistic Reviews with this guy. And... Uh, Links in the description. All kinds of other people. <laughs> Oscar Isaac is here. Oscar. Description right here. Oh, <laughs> man. He's everywhere. Hey, yo. Oh, geez. Hey. Calm down, Poe. Hey. Poe, calm down. Oscar. 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 That's one hell of a pilot. God. <laughs> Do you really need to be everywhere, Oscar? <laughs> Oscar. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace. I would like to make the Batman. I still want it to be black and white. Hey, Matt Reeves, oh, make it in man, fucking black and white. Awesome. If you make that fucking movie oh. in black and white with fucking army hammers, Batman oh, or fucking man. Carl Urban, if you want to do a little gruff, Batman, you like that? And you make it in black, like a fucking up. noir. If you keep saying noir, and you make it in black and white, just doing detective shit.